in this class we'll see how we can use the list interface in Java okay a list basically is an ordered or sequenced collection of objects you can access any element in the list using an index okay and there are many classes in Java which implement the list interface like for example the array list the linked list and so on unlike a set which cannot have duplicate values a list can have duplicate entries and it can, it can also store null values the difference between an array list and a linked list is in an array list you can access the elements by the index like the way you access an array element by the index similarly in the array list you can access elements by the index the index is usually usually an integer starting from zero in a linked list you have to traverse the list to access each element in the list so when we get to that I'll explain it to you so now let's try to write a small demo program which uses the list interface in Java so here I have a small program called demo list in this I'll create a list and this list uh, I want to use a generic generic lets you store objects of a certain type in a collection so in this list I want to store only string objects and let's call this list as my to-do list let's say I want to do some things and I want to create a list of all the things that I want to do and I'm going to use a, an implement Java implementation class which implements a list interface so let's first start with using an array list with an array list again you have to specify the uh, generic type so I'm going to say string the generic type on the left side and the right side should match so you're saying because you're saying that this you're using a list containing strings you should always use an array list containing a strings and then I have to invoke the constructor of this to create an array list and I see a couple of errors I need to import these two classes the way to import it is put your mouse on the, on this and press control shift M in Eclipse so now the array list is imported let's also import the list so click click on the list object here and press control shift and M now it shows several objects with the name list we need to choose the list from the java.util package because that is a collection class collection interface the Java collection interface that we want to use so double click on this and it will get imported now in this list let's let's add a few items I can press control space and it will expand it dot and as soon as I press dot it will show it shows me all the possible methods that are available on the list interface so I'm going to say add and then I'm going to choose uh, get groceries that's my first item in the to-do list then I'll say car wash then I'll say take son to swim lesson so I added a few items in the list now let's print this list and the way you can print that is you can say there are two ways one is to use a for each construct so the way you write that is you write for and first put a colon and on the right hand side put the collection that you're iterating over so I'm going to iterate over this guy my to-do list and on the left side left side of the colon see the object that this list contains it contains string right so what you should do is write string and then give some name you can say each item in list and then go to the end 
okay now what is happening is Java will iterate over the collection on the right side of this colon which is my to-do list and as it is iterating over each of them it is going to save each item in this so this is a reference to each item as you're iterating it over iterating over the list now I can print it out always use control space instead of typing the whole variable name that will be faster and now let's run this program so right click on it and say run as Java application so notice one thing here the order in which you insert is the same order in which you iterate over the elements so as you keep adding to the list the new entries go to the end of the list right because you are maintaining a sequence collection an ordered collection so they have they are in a certain order the way you insert is a, is a will be the same order in which the way you retrieve them okay one more thing you can do with this is you can say my to do list dot get and using the index I said right you can access any, any element in the list let's say I want to find the one at index 1 and then I want to print it out so what you can do one more thing you can do here is sorry something called a size okay so I can write a, a for loop I equal to 0 like the way I trade over an array I less than this plus plus I and let's try to print each item in the list by doing dot get oh you need to do it on the my to do list right first you want to access each element of that list and you say get i and let's try to print it out I'm putting an empty line between the two so that you can see it so this is another way to trade over list let's see so now in the, by iterating over this list you have seen the size method and you also seen the get method so you can access any element in the list by using an index the same way that you access elements of an array let's try to create uh, let's try to iterate over this using one more method you can say my to do list dot iterator and then iterator my iter equal to this and this iterator is an iterator of strings you can say java.util.iterator all the collection classes are in the java.util package and then this iterator the way you do that is you say while my iter dot as next So you can iterate over the list by using the iterator as well. So I've shown you three different ways. This for each construct is the most is the most is a recommended way of doing it because if you look at it, it is the simplest form. All you are saying because here you don't have to get the iterator. Here you have to check check the has next and then do a next. 
let's see how simple this is all you are saying is this is a collection on the right hand side of the colon and on the left hand side of the colon you should first indicate the type of objects that list contains the type of objects is string so you write the string and here you can give any name try to give a meaningful name basically each, it's a, each item in the list and then you have seen how you can access the elements of the list by using an index and the get method and you can get the elements of the list by f using the size okay